Hey, what's going on guys? Dubs here. Welcome to the draft video for the second multiplayer Dominions 4 game here on Dubs Does Games. I apologize for how ghetto this looks. I wanted to do random.org, click the list view so we'd see it pop up, uh, the random order of the draft, but that thing has my IP address on there. I thought maybe that's a bad idea to post my IP address to YouTube.com. Uh, YouTube so um, I got my little snipping tool over here. That is the random order that came up. Uh, as you can see, Crazy Hades, number one, Sanctus Mortem, Horrifying Thoughts, Black 13, Ribby, Josie, Sushimon, and myself pulling up the rear in my personal favorite number eight. So I'm, I'm okay with that. We're going to do things a little differently this time. In the first game, it was suggested that we would actually draft mul multiple nations per person. And I kind of bypassed that because I wasn't sure how it would work out. Now that I have one under my belt, I think we can handle this. So the way it's going to work is I will post a comment to this video. It will say, this is the draft, the starting point of the draft, or something to that effect. Crazy Hades, you'll make your pick. And then we're going to go on down the list. Sanctus, Horrifying Thoughts, all the way to my eighth pick. And then I'm going to also pick number nine. And we're going to reverse the list. So Sushimon will be 10, Josie will be 11, etc. All the way back to Crazy Hades. And then we're going to flip one more time. So we're going to go three picks for each person. So you're going to have three nations each. And when the game starts, you'll pick one of those three nations to play. So my thinking here is one... We will avoid situations where somebody drafts a nation and finds out they actually don't really want to play it, and then they switch their nation. Uh, I let a couple people do that in the last one, and I'd prefer to avoid that. And two, there won't be any counterpicking either, because you won't really know what nations the others are going to play. Yeah, somebody might take, uh, I don't know, Mictlin in their first pick, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to pick Mictlin when they actually start the game. I hope that makes sense. We're going to go through three times, top to bottom, then bottom to top, top to bottom again. Everybody will have three nations. We'll pick one of those in the game. You don't have to tell anybody who you're playing until the game starts. I think it looks like a really good idea. Uh, so that's the plan. Now, really quick, I do want to... Oh, by the way, these are early age nations. So we are playing early age. I should specify that. And there are about 30 nations, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, about eight of them are going to be left out. Now, as for game settings, let me get through here real quick. I'm kind of trying to make executive decisions here. Last time I left it open to votes, and I think at this point I'd rather just get it started. So I think what we'll do is probably site frequency 50, uh, common events, no story events or score graphs. I'm thinking 15 Hall of Fame entries. I seem to think that was pretty popular across the board. Thrones of Ascension, I think eight. We did about one per player last time, and I thought it worked pretty well. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. You know, do you want level all level ones? Do you want any level twos? How many points to win? That sort of thing. And renaming is allowed, of course. Now, the biggest thing is I want you to comment on is what map should we handle or play with? I think that the last game, the map we played on wasn't so great for multiplayer. It's an awesome single player map. And ironically, I was the vote that broke a tie that picked that map. So let me know what your thoughts are. I personally am leaning towards a random map just because I feel like it will be more balanced even though they tend to have very few choke points and things like that. I think there are definite pros and cons to that though. So let me know what your thoughts are. Do you have a specific map in mind that you would like to play or do you want random map? So feel free to leave whatever detail of settings you want, and I will definitely take them into consideration. Just uh, to let you know, I probably will kind of make the executive decision uh, for the final settings and everything. So I'm gonna be out of the uh, I'm gonna be out on vacation next week. I almost said I'm gonna be out of the office next week. <laughs> oh God Almighty, help me! Um, so I'm thinking we're gonna start like early September. I'm going to be out all week. Uh, that brings me back around the 29th. So I'm thinking that would be good. I'm hoping everybody gets some time to kind of practice with their nation, that sort of thing, and uh, get an idea of what kind of strategy you want. That includes myself because I was a total, total disaster piece in that last one. I think that's it. 
I hope I didn't miss anything. I hope I didn't miss anybody on the draft list. If I did, please let me know in the comments. I apologize if I did. It's been like several weeks that this has been going on. I, I knew I couldn't start the game earlier than September, so that's why I've waited so long. If I did miss you, please let me know. I'll add you to the end of the list. I think with the fact that we'll flip the list the second time through, you'll get you should get one of your top two picks, I would think. That's another reason I'm I think this will work out. So um that's it guys. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. I'm looking forward to this one. And um let's do this thing. <laughs>